Hi everyone, I'm Caroline Vaughn. I'm a fourth year medical student at the University of Central Florida College of Medicine here in Orlando. And today I'll be presenting on educational attainment and its effect on acute kidney stone surgical delay. So low socioeconomic status has been shown to contribute to kidney stone surgical delay. And while socioeconomic status has many different components to it, the impact specifically of education and for our study educational attainment level has not been specifically studied and looked at in depth. So while looking into this and education, the impact upon surgeries and the delay in surgeries, I did find many studies showing that patient-centered education has been shown to decrease surgical delay across many surgical specialties. However, looking into this guidelines to determine the type of education to give to each patient with regard to their own health literacy level are scarce. And low health literacy has also been implicated in numerous surgical complications. So for this study, low health literacy and health literacy overall, as a proxy for this, we used educational attainment given the availability of our data set. I can get a little bit more into that here in a second. But we analyzed levels of educational attainment and surgical delay times for kidney stone procedures in the acute setting across over 300 Florida zip codes. So de-identified patient data from 2016 to 2020 within Florida was taken from the Healthcare Cost and Utilization Project, also known as HCOP, and analyzed. We used patient le level data for surgical delay and then aggregated these by zip code tabulation areas. Educational attainment was measured and obtained from the data set called AHRQ, also known as the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. We merged these two data sets and performed a linear regression in order to discover and further study the trends in surgical delay. So as you'll see, there were many different levels of educational attainment within this data set. For the purpose of this project, we chose three cutoffs, those with a high school degree or less, those, with a th those that were considered a college graduate, whether an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, and then also those with the professional degree, such as a PhD or other professional degrees. Over 7,000 patients were identified within these zip codes, and within this, I'll move on to this image right here, we found that those with a high school degree or less experienced a significant increase in surgical delay. As you'll see here, those that population is represented in green right here. As you can see, the slope is trending upwards as well as we go from waiting, you know, delaying the surgery seven days to well over 28 days. Those with a college or a professional degree both had a decrease in surgical delay. Both were significant. And as you can see here, those with a college degree are shown in purple and those with a professional degree are shown in orange. So for our study, educational attainment, as we were looking at, may easily serve as a proxy of health literacy that might be a bit easier to determine, such as when you're intaking a patient simply asking your highest level of education. In this study, educational attainment level was found to impact kidney stone surgical delay, and those with a lower educational attainment were at an increased risk for surgical delay, and this could also possibly lead to worse outcomes as well and other surgical complications other than just delaying the surgery. Further studies examining the exact role of educational attainment and health literacy on surgical delays and outcomes are merited. As we, as we all know, we need to be able to communicate with our patients to the best of our abilities, and we need to make sure they understand everyone is on the same page. And figuring out how best to determine this would really help all physicians moving forward, as well as our patients, achieving the best outcomes for them. So deeper investigation has the potential to assist in formulating standardized guidelines and improving surgical timelines and outcomes for our patients. Thank you all for listening, and I am glad to take any questions. Alrighty, great. Thank you so much. Any questions for Caroline? Alrighty, thank you. Thank you.